Good day everyone! Today, we are going to discuss all about the different forms of energy. Energy comes in different forms. The forms of energy are produced differently. The different forms of energy are mechanical, chemical, electrical, sound, heat, radiant, and nuclear energy. Mechanical Energy Mechanical energy is inherent in moving bodies. It is the energy that enables the body to do work. You can move your muscles and do a lot of activities such as dancing, playing, or doing a simple exercise. You can do all of this because your muscles have mechanical energy. Machines help you do work. They make work easier and faster. Simple machines or compound machines possess mechanical energy. Your muscles have mechanical energy for you to dance. Machines possess mechanical energy. Wind also possesses mechanical energy. It makes things like leaves, ships, and windmills move. Windmills in Ilocos Norte generate electricity through the wind. Chemical Energy Chemical energy is stored in the molecules of matter. A change is necessary to transform chemical energy into usable form. Chemical energy is released when chemical change occurs. Fuels such as gasoline, firewood, coal, and petroleum contain chemical energy. When burned, the chemical energy is released in the form of heat and light energy. In machines with engines using fuels like gasoline, the chemical energy is changed into another form to make the engine move. Food, likewise, contains plenty of chemical energy. Food comes from plants and animals. Plants and animals possess chemical energy. Can you recall the food-making process of plants? During photosynthesis, Plants use water and carbon dioxide with the aid of light energy from the sun. Reactions take place inside the plant cells during the process until glucose and oxygen are produced. Glucose is stored as chemical energy in the plant's leaves, stems, and roots. When people eat plants, the chemical energy is turned into energy of the body. How about a dry cell? Does it also contain chemical energy? Dry cell contains chemical energy. The chemical energy of a dry cell is turned into a usable form when put in a device such as flashlight. What form of energy is produced when you switch on the flashlight? Electrical energy. Electrical energy is energy produced by moving electrons. It may be static or current. A static electricity is electricity at rest. It is brought about by friction. As a result, electrons are transferred from one object to the other. One object gains electrons and becomes negatively charged while the other object loses electrons and becomes positively charged. When these two objects come together, attraction occurs. The negatively charged object possesses a static electricity and it can be attract small and light objects. When you rub briskly a plastic comb in your hair, the comb becomes negatively charged. If you put it near a small pieces of paper, what do you think will happen? The small pieces of paper will be attracted to the comb because it possesses static electricity. Current Electricity 
sometimes a spark occurs during attraction between two objects. A spark shows the charges move. Lightning is a large spark that travels through the air from one charge region of a cloud to another charge region. Lightning is an example of current electricity. Current electricity is produced when the free electrons flow. This kind of electricity is what you use at home and in school. A simple circuit is an example of current electricity. The electric current passes through the copper wire. When you turn on the switch, the electrons in the space between the atoms move in one main direction. The movements of electrons happen very quickly. This motion of electrons is the electric current that makes the bulb light. Electric energy is available almost anywhere. It comes from electric power generated in power plants such as hydroelectric power plant and geothermal power plant. From the power plant, electricity must be transformed into higher voltages for long distance transmission. The transmission lines distribute the current to buildings and residents with lower voltage from 220 to 240 volts. The power brought to your homes can be used as needed by turning on a switch. Sound energy Sound energy is produced by the vibration of matter. Any material that vibrates produces sound. Your vocal cords vibrates. This is the reason why you can produce sound by talking, singing, or even shouting. Sound energy makes the world beautiful and interesting. People communicate with each other through sound energy. Animals too have sound energy. Radio, televisions, and cell phones are appliances that make use of sound energy. Musical instruments like guitar, piano, and harp vibrate and produce sound. What other musical instruments do you know? Radiant energy Radiant energy is a form of energy that can travel through an empty space called a vacuum. It is caused by accelerated electric charges or by electric or magnetic fields that increase or decrease with time. The sun and the stars are the sources of radiant energy or electromagnetic waves. The sun, which is the nearest star of the earth, is the main source of energy on earth. Radiant energy is also called solar energy. Radiant energy may be in the form of light, radio waves, infrared waves, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays, and gamma rays. The sun is the main source of energy. Heat energy Heat energy is a very common energy present in everybody due to the motion of its molecules. It is also called thermal energy. When a substance is heated, its molecules move rapidly and bump one another. The hotter the body becomes, the more rapid is the movement of molecules. As the object cools, the collision of molecules is reduced. Their movement slows down a lot at extremely low temperatures. But even very cold objects possess some heat, since molecular movement is still exists. Heat energy is the energy that flows from a hotter to a colder body due to a temperature difference between them. Nuclear energy Nuclear energy or atomic energy is a form of energy produced by nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. 
A tremendous amount of energy is released when nuclear fission and nuclear fusion occur. Nuclear fission is the process of splitting the nucleus of elements with heavy atoms releasing a large amount of energy. The element uranium, for example, has very heavy atoms which can be broken to produce energy. This element is the main fuel in nuclear reactors and nuclear power plants use nuclear fission to produce energy. Nuclear fusion is the opposite of fission. It is the process of combining two or more nuclei to form one heavier nucleus to produce energy. This reaction is happening in the sun and stars. In a complicated series of reactions, four small hydrogen nuclei are put together to form a new helium nucleus releasing a great amount of energy in the process. Nuclear fusion is also called thermonuclear fusion. Thermonuclear means high temperature is required for the nuclei to react. Very high temperature or millions of degrees is required before the nuclei have energy to collide with the force needed for them to combine. When a hydrogen bomb explodes, thermonuclear fusion occurs. The sun's energy comes from the nuclear fusion.